between these two coaches. As we are about to get underway here between the Longhorns and the Aggies. Marissa Barnes serving for Texas. Emma Halter. Madison Skinner, Big 12 Player of the Year, out of play. Aggies take point number one. In a match like this with a lot at stake, that's where we're going to see the errors. A lot of errors in the beginning of the first set, trying to figure out what they can and can get away with defensively and offensively. This is a battle of two of the top ten blocking teams in the nation. Underwood with the serve. Molly Phillips, tremendous dig, but out of play. Point, Texas. Swindle finding Phillips Gurley, who has one of the highest reaches in the Big 12, who Jared Elliott calls the surgeon because of how efficient she is production-wise. Emma Halter tied for the team lead with 31 aces on the year. There is Carissa Barnes. Skinner flying in. Great dig by Underwood. Skinner there. Neke on the attack for Texas A&M. Madison Skinner with the point for the Longhorns. Skinner going with the tool after that hit didn't work in the beginning. And for Underwood, that's really encouraging, getting a dig off of Skinner early in the set. Madison Skinner having a career year, 10th in the nation in kills per set, nearly 5%. In the middle, that one demolished by Casapala. Textbook play for the Aggies. That's why it's so important that serve and pass game to give your setter a three option pass, allowing Casapala to get in early. Efena Casapala, the nation's leading shot blocker at 1.64%, just ahead of Asia O'Neill, the two top blocking middles in the nation. A matchup to watch. Here's Margot Manning, 38 aces on the season. Swindle over to Skinner, who's been busy early. One arm banded by Underwood. Back the other way. Halter. Swindle. Molly Phillips with the point. You can tell the Aggies have practiced hitting against Maddie Skinner because Ava Underwood is making great reads right now. So when that happens, find Molly Phillips. Go to your right side, and that's what Ella Swindle's doing. This is the time of year Kayle Akana usually dominates. At a Texas tournament record, seven aces in the opening round last year. 27 for her career in the NCAA tournament. In the middle, that one too strong from Casapala. Two for two with Casapala coming in, running through the middle. Oh, excuse me, hit it out. But that was a great miss. She's doing a good job of going for the angles. Akana, 126 career aces. To Casapala they go. Thought she had the point. Turned around. Skinner taps it over. And the Aggies take the point. A lot of tight balls at the net. We saw that earlier with SMU and Texas State. And that happens a lot. You'll see a lot more battles getting really close. Diana Moneke, who's down. Former Longhorns basketball standout, Gabe Moneke, top 15 in Texas history. Points and rebounds, Longhorns with the points. Texas backed up by two. You can see the growth in Ella Swindle already getting a kill this early on. She would not go for the dump this early in a match beginning of the season. She is growing to be extremely confident, even offensively in her own. Talented true freshman. Here is Madison Skinner, meanwhile. 31 aces on the year. The Greg is buzzing early on in this one. Texas by two. O'Neal with the block, and Texas with the point. Asia O'Neal bringing that classic flair after that huge block, and the coverage was there for the Aggies. The block was just that good. Pressing her hands, making sure it doesn't drop straight in the middle. The Longhorns all-time leader in career blocks. She had 12 in their regular season finale. Off O'Neal diving in, Wenis unable to save it. It was Caroline Muth on the attack.
the senior out of San Antonio. And youth is another name that you'll hear tonight. Aggies love going to her on the outside. She swings really hard. She's kind of like Jenna Winnis. She's down to go for the blocker's hands in front of her and make the back line run it down. Transfer from Notre Dame. Meanwhile, here is Casa Paula, the sophomore serving halter. Jenna Winnis denied. Aggies within one. When has already seen where the Aggies are going to set that block up. And now is the time to start trying out different shots. This is her first attack of the match, but she needs that coverage tight at the net. Texas A&M 10th in the nation in blocks per set. Texas third. Kind of diving for that one. Wenis waits for it, pushes it over. One-handed by Manning. Here's Muth. Swindle. Wenis. That one deflected off of Moneke, diving into the seats, but unable to save it. Texas with the point. Wenis responding perfectly, getting stuck to that first attack, now changing up her shots. That's what's going to make these teams so great. Who can answer the challenge in real time? Tremendous effort by the freshman Margot Manning going in, into the seats. Here's O'Neill serving for Texas. Youth backs up a bit. Venice, another push. Sliding in was Underwood. Caroline Youth, that is in. One point set. Back and forth, these rivals go. Caroline Muth this season isn't interested in tips or goals. She's going for that power shot. She speeds up her arm swing, doesn't even reach the highest on her team, but she's so powerful, it really doesn't matter. More than 300 kills on the season for Muth. Lisa Buzletetne serving for AM. Charging in from the back row, Skinner, but a little too strong, and we are tied. And it's seven. Good eye by Ava Underwood keeping her foot on the line because you got one second to decide when Skinner hits it from the back, is that ball in or out? She rarely misses on those back row attacks. Here's Latepe, junior center from Turkey. Swindle sliding over was Bergmark, and the Aggies have jumped in front by one. I like the passion Caroline Muth is bringing to her team. And you have to after you get a stuff against Texas, an ISO block against Bella Birdmark. That's something you almost never see this season. Here's Latepe, 18 aces on the year. Wenis into the net it goes. Free ball for the Aggies. That one hammered off Halter. Skinner on the attack. But again, one of the best blocking teams in the nation, Texas A&M, goes up by two. 6-1 run. Aggies making an early statement with their defense blocking-wise. They are trying to show Maddie Skinner, we are not going to let you get past us. We are doing our best to have six hands in front of you. And they're testing her early. But she's a player. She's going to move on her shot to figure it out. Three and a half blocks to one in favor of A&M. And there's an ace by Booz Latepe. 7-1, Aggies run. Dennis. Free ball for Texas A&M in the middle. That one slaughtered by Morgan Perkins. It's all about momentum, and that's exactly what the Aggies have right now, especially running their middle right now. Perkins coming in and reading the block, seeing Bergmark's arms, and switching up to go to the opposite corner. The transfer from Oklahoma. Eight one run. Wenis denied. How about this AM block? That block needs to be protected for Texas. Akana in the right spot. The read was there, but their reaction wasn't. And it was a great block for the Aggies. But the outsides of Texas have to know their back row is going to dig that ball. Wenis with two attack errors. Skinner with four. Swindle. Skinner taps it over. Muth. Akana. Venice unable to get past that block. 
it's the front line defense for Texas A&M right now. Texas not able to get over it. And the coverage is there for Akana, finally getting a ball up for Texas. But let Nikki, that reach is unmatched. And the connection with her and Morgan Perkins is perfect right now. Texas has run into trouble this year when Wenis starts piling up the attack errors. Three of their four losses have come when she has six errors or more. She's already got three, and the Aggies doubling up Texas 14-7. 11-1-1 for Texas A&M. And Jared Elliott talked about his team needing to find that fast gear immediately. Something his team struggled with, been doing better lately, but that fast gear just not there right now. Going on a huge run with Buzla Tepe serving. Swindle tried the dump. Wenis, four attack errors already in the first set for Wenis and four for Skinner as well. The reaction by Morgan Perkins, it's like she can't even believe how good the block is right now. Then Nikki has one of the tallest reaches, one of the highest verticals in the SEC. You have to get over her right now, over her arms, find a way around, and your back row has to be able to help you. Great they, block by Len Nikki. They average just under 3%. They have six and a half so far here in the first. Let Nikki. Texas finally ends the run. Even though the run was over by an error from Lenicki, you don't care. You take it. And now a swindle in the back row. That gives more height to Texas. And look who has entered the match. Kenna Miller has come in already for Texas. That one absolutely destroyed by Logan Lednicki. Logan led Nikki is lethal from the left or the right because of how powerful she is. And that's why Bergmark needs to be able to get on the right side. Four hands have to be up against Led Nikki. The Aggies hitting 118, Texas minus 174. Youth serving. And an ace for Texas AM. Everything going the Aggies' way right now. And Aggies are this. I knew Logan led Nikki for Texas AM was special last season when I called her game in Arkansas, and she had 22 kills as a freshman. She had almost a whole set herself on your screen right here, number 90, under her belt. She is someone that Aggies will constantly go to, and right now, it's not even her hitting, it's the block that's the story for her right now. Two-time All-SEC sophomore, made the SEC All-Freshman team, as you said, a season ago, play ready to resume. Caroline Muth, the transfer from Notre Dame serving. And now Wenis is back in for Kenna Miller. Two aces already for the Aggies in the opening set. The pancake offered up by Booz Latepe. That one hammered by Wenis and gets the point. Wenis getting the kill on the right side. Remember, that's where she used to be comfortable. She was a right side from Minnesota, so playing opposite the right pin is nothing new to her. Wenis with two kills on nine swings. Marissa Barnes serving 199 career aces for the transfer. And there is number 200. Perfect serve from Carissa Barnes. The Texas bench fully getting into it as well. And look how deep this ball goes. It wasn't even right over the net. It was deep, literally making the Aggies back up test them. And the point by Moneke, the freshman out of Cyprus. The Aggies just are not interested in the tipping or the rolling. They are going for those deep corner shots and the freshman are even playing with the confidence as well. Sophomore Ava Underwood. Molly Phillips with the point. Nice cut shot from Molly Phillips, doing a good job at reading where the Aggies' back line defense is and making them get on the floor. Texas trying to respond out of the timeout. Emma Halter, the relentless sophomore libero. Let Nikki denied by the Texas block. 
That is a statement stuck from Maggie Skinner. It is almost impossible to stuff Led Nikki this deep because of how high Led Nikki reaches. But Skinner's coming for blood, and she's making sure her hands are not about to be tooled, facing them back in the court. Since the timeout, Texas on a 4-1 run. Halter with the dig. Skinner with the points. Perfect placement by Maddie Skinner. Look how pulled in the Aggies block is. Leaving the line shot wide open. Left to your screen. Look how wide open that line shot is. Great vision by Skinner. Feels like a heavyweight fight. And we're only in the first set. Rebecca. Phillips had to reach for it. Underwood came flying in. Let Dickey. No. Point Texas. It's a great matchup between Len Nicky and Skinner because of how high these players reach. And Feet to resume in front of a boisterous crowd here at Gregory Gym. That one hammered home by Casapala. Casapala, her second kill of the match so far, doing a good job at finding that fast offense. Jamie Morrison has really been working on in the practice gym this season. Sophomore out of flower bound, became the everyday starter this year and has excelled, leading the nation in blocks per set. Here's Margot Manning, fifth in the SEC in aces this year. Alter calling for it. Underwood. Neke, Asia O'Neal, pulling Texas. Jermaine looks on as his daughter in her final season in a Texas uniform. Uniform comes up with the point to Asia O'Neal, playing her best ball right now at this time of the year. Jared Elliott said even when she came back from injury, that injury lingered for a long time in the regular season. Akana. Zapala again with the point. What a play from Manny. The smaller setter literally jumping in the air with the one-handed tip to her middle. Cause of Paul, that's the connection that comes the last in gyms between the setter and the middle, and the Aggies showing you how much work they put on that. Sliding over Asia O'Neal. Great effort by Moneke. Youth. And AM gets the point, 21-15 Aggies. Great spot by Mute. The Aggies starting to go for those different shots, which is working right now. She saw Carissa Barnes really pulled back in that middle back and went right for the right back. In that game, 17 aces. Skinner wide. And the Aggies up by seven. Remember, the Longhorns have not dropped a set in the opening round since 2002. Alter. Back to Skinner. Youth with a powerful attack. And the Aggies pulling away in the first set. Caroline Moose kills look like a bullet. There's absolutely no spin. She's like a machine when it comes to her arm. And if you're not stopping your base with your platform ready, it's going to be a kill. Each team responding out of their timeouts. Texas went on a run, and now the Aggies coming back. Youth pushes it right into the block. Skinner. And Casapala didn't know where it was. It drops in for the Texas point. The most out of system the Aggies have worked this entire set, which is saying a lot. They are so in system right now this set. And when they're not, they figure things out fast. Madison Skinner, three kills on 14 swings, ready to serve. Jenna Wenis, Halter saved the day. Back to Wenis. Again, the block is there. Free ball for AM. Here they come. Muth. Four players converge. Wenis 
finally gets it past the block. Swindle. Asia O'Neal diving in was Underwood. O'Neal hammers home the point. Asia O'Neal literally hunting the ball at the front. And look at her vision. She is not taking her eyes off the ball. She's not even getting off for coverage or passing. She is making sure that ball doesn't have enough chance to cross the net. She was the best hitter as far as hitting percentage in the entire Big 12 in conference play this year. Hitting 401. Trying to lead her team back into this opening set. Muth. Walter. Asia O'Neill. Taken over late in set number one. Texas needed Asia O'Neill in the front. She's blocking. She's covering the, the net. She's getting kills. You want her at the front as much as possible right now. O'Neal averaging just over six and a half kills per match in the tournament throughout her career. A hitting percentage of nearly 400. It's 643 in the national championship match a season ago. Here's Skinner. for Texas in this match so far. Maddie Skinner so confident from behind the service line and not the hardest floater, but a good floater, stopping in the air and dropping early. 4-0 Texas run. Trying to prevent the Aggies from getting to set point. Here comes Muth, and there is Asia O'Neal. For Asia O'Neal, nothing is crossing the net with the defending national champions. Madison Skinner. Set point on the way for the Aggies. First service error for either team tonight. Casapala serving for the set. Asia O'Neill sliding over off the block. Youth too strong. And Muth sees Asia O'Neill in front of her, and she's trying to do different things to make sure her shot crosses the block, and that's where that error came in. Set point number two for AM. Asia O'Neill serving 102 career aces. They need one now. Caroline Muth. Akana unable to get to it. The Aggies take the set, and Texas has dropped a set in the opening. Caroline Muth. The senior from San Antonio. Set number two is underway. Molly Phillips off the block. Moneke. Skinner was there, batted around by Underwood, and Texas takes the first point of the second set. Statement block for Maddie Skinner, making sure she is paired up perfectly with her blocker, Bergmark. But that answer from the Aggies, that's a great effort right there. After the halter serve, Asia O'Neill is fired up, so is Skinner. It's all the block in the past few points for Texas right now. That was bleeding in from the first set. They figured out their block later on, and now you're seeing it come into the second as well. Asia O'Neill with six blocks, hitting 333. Underwood had to reach for that one. Charging in Moneke. Here comes Phillips. Halter dug it out. Barnes. Underwood. Moneke off the block. Swindle. 
the surgeon. Molly Phillips is the clutch hitter right now for Texas. When it seems that no one else can make it fall, Phillips will put it down. Because of how high she reaches, she is literally getting over the Aggies block. Texas opening up set number two on a 3 0 -oh run. The Dickey wide. 4 0 Longhorns. AM calling for the touch. Texas forcing Led Nikki to take the air. But it looks like Coach Morrison. Jared Elliott waving his hands a moment ago to try and get this crowd back on their feet. Texas dropped the opening set 25 21. Halter. Nearly. Yes, there is an ace for Emma Halter. And the Longhorns responding here in the second. And Emma Halter coming out serving that aggressively after a long challenge shows you how confident she is playing in the postseason so far. 32nd ace of her season. Asia O'Neill with a 40. Jermaine says yes. Timeout in Austin on a 6-0 run with her serving to begin the second. Moneke. Madison Skinner off of Barnes. Skinner and Halter falling over. Somehow Texas kept it going. Moneke, point, Texas. The Aggies immediately call for the touch. Good coverage for Texas. Skinner and Halting. Halter colliding. Still getting the ball over. But again, when it's this loud, you can't hear each other. Halter and Skinner literally can't hear each other calling off the ball. No challenge this time by Jamie Morrison. What a start to the second set for Emma Halter and the Longhorns. And this gym is about to explode. Hitting 375 in this set, AM minus 400. Four kills, six blocks for O'Neill. Halter serving again. Let Nikki, and that one misses. Texas is forcing Let Nikki to take errors right now. They are reading her shoulder, they're looking where her vision is going, and they're taking away the shots she wants. Look for it. See if Led Nikki starts to go for the middle of the court. Jamie Morrison not calling timeout. O'Neill. Swindle. Back to Asia. Almost had the point, and she does. A 10 0 start to the A.com. Fresh off the AM timeout, Halter still serving. Neke. Here comes Madison Skinner and the Aggies finally get their first point of the set. Great block for the Aggies. They're making sure they're staying patient. They're reading where Skinner's shoulder is facing and taking away that shot. In this set, before that point, the Longhorns were hitting 400. Aggies were hitting minus 400. In the middle, back to O'Neill. The block was ready, but out of play. The Aggies caught O'Neill coming up. Usually you want to meet the ball while you're stopped in the air. If you come up like that on the block, that's when you get those deep tools. O'Neill and Casapala, one and two in the nation in blocks per set. Here is Akana. Texas with three aces already. 
Casapala answers for the Aggies. Casapala getting the kill because of how insistent that play was for the Aggies. That's why it's so important to win the serve receive game against Texas. You've got to get your middles involved. The sophomore out of Flower Mound with four kills, second most on the Aggies. Not sure what this exchange is about. Might have been something someone said on the court, a reaction, because that was a pretty clean play. There is Margot Manning, prep volleyball top 150 recruit, coming out of Houston. Nearly 40 aces on the year for the freshman. Two aces so far tonight by the Aggies. Swindle with the dunk. We haven't seen a dunk from Swindle since early in that first set, and a great time to pull that out of her tool belt and try and make sure the Aggies are keeping her in mind when it comes to offense as well. Again, playing in her first career NCAA postseason match. Skinner serving. Pio in the match on the attack. Bounces off Akana. Point A and M. Gwyneth is going to have to find some different shots as well right now because the Aggies block is so good. It's not only good, but they got the height, the length of the arms, the timing of the form. Gwyneth also needs to know that the coverage is going to be there to help her out. Gwyneth two kills, five attack errors on 13 swings. Elena Pearson, the freshman from Kansas, serving for the Aggies. Wettis gets the point. Perfect response from Wettis. She did not revert back to the tip of the roll. She stayed aggressive. She trusted herself. She let go of the last kill, and that shows the mental strength that she talks about working on this season. O'Neill serving for Texas. Longhorns hitting 357 in this set. In the middle, and it has been a back and forth between Asia O'Neill and Ifena Casapala. Casapala already swinging before the ball even leaves the setter's hand. That shows you how in sync they are together. Tied for the team lead with five kills, hitting 333. Exhales at the service line. Bella Bergmark, that is in, Point Texas. Bella out on the three, that's a nice play. We haven't seen too much from Texas right now. And you see how it caught the Aggies block off guard. That's what happens when you get your middles in different plays. Bergmark came up big in the postseason a year ago. Service error by Swindle. Again, Jared Elliott said, he expects her to be nervous in this one. First career postseason match. Expects some mistakes as well. It's a nine point set. Lisa Buzla Tepe getting ready to serve for the Aggies. One ace tonight. Phillips, Wettis keeps it alive. The Aggies with another block. Back to Phillips. Groundhog day for Phillips, running into the block, gets it passed. Underwood is there. Pearson, Muth, Texas with the block. Way to stay in the play for Texas. It begins with the coverage. I fully thought the Aggies had that point. And Bella Bergmark stays in the play. Great job from the middle, covering her outside. That shows you how everyone for Texas is getting involved with covering their teammates. Bergmark and Wenis with great resiliency on the defensive end. Youth. And it drops in. Muth doing what she needs to do, which is change up her shot. She was constantly getting blocked by Asia O'Neill, and she went for the tip, something she always doesn't always do, but it was to get the kill. She made the right read. 
Youth serving off the tape. Charging in Molly Phillips. Neneke too strong. Well, AM gets the point. Was touched by Texas. A bit of a debate among the Longhorns players. So remember, Texas started off this set on a 10-0 run. Since then, it's gone 7-0. Five in favor of the Aggies as Jared Elliott looks on. Youth serving. Skinner. It looks like someone paused Maddie Skinner in the air. Right to your screen. Look at this hang time she has where she meets the ball, how high she gets, how hard she swings, and when she snaps, her bottom literally comes down in half. The Big 12 Player of the Year, two-time national champion, Moneke answers, skimming one off of Halter. Aggies trying to rally back in this set from a major deficit. Ava Underwood, the sophomore serving. Asia O'Neill making it look easy. One of O'Neill's biggest strengths is her vision of the court and that high IQ she has. She sees exactly where the jerseys are and she's going to go right for that spot. Everything she does is on purpose. Her facial expressions are the best. Her dad has a poker <laughs> face there. She does not. Akana. In the middle, Casapala. Barnes reaching for that one. Madison Skinner sliding in. Was Buzla Tepe. Let Nikki. Look at this vertical from Led Nikki. Right to your screen. Look how high she reaches in this snap. The form, the strength. She was recruited by a lot of Big Ten schools. I believe she could play anywhere she wants. Her family is a diehard Aggies family, and that's a big reason why she wanted to play for Jamie Morrison when he came here. They led Nikki's Aggies through and through. Logan leading the team in kills this year. Skinner, another attack. What a dig by Underwood. But Texas gets the point. Double for the Aggies. That's what happens when the play really speeds up and the ball's coming down your hands really fast. If you're not an elite setter, it's hard to not get that double. That's why you see a lot of times players will give you that buff pass. Madison Skinner, four kills, three blocks, two digs, and an ace. around off Swindle. Wettis. Underwood reaching for that one. And Texas up by 10 here in the second. Texas taking off momentum wise. The Aggies trying to respond. It looks similar to that first set. It's really all about who's going to be hot and be continuous in that. And Texas had 10 attackers in the first set. Just two in this one. of youth. Moneke in front of Underwood. Free ball for Texas. Swindle. Asia O'Neill. It was touched by the Aggies and the Longhorns in control here in set number two. Aggies trying to take away that shot for Asia O'Neill and at first I thought it worked but she got that finger to touch. Asia O'Neill eight kills six blocks. Hitting 615 tonight. Again, they go to O'Neill when your best players are playing their best in your biggest matches. You're going to be tough to beat. The Aggies even knew it was going to O'Neill. Look at them break out to the right side. But she is just that strong. When her and Ella Swindle are making that great connection, it is so hard to beat them. The All-American taking over. Texas with their largest lead of the night. Walter. Jenna Wettis. 21-10. The 
Maggie's block is just on point, especially against Wenis. They're doing a really good job at reading her shoulder, and Skinner is different because she has more reach and length. She can cut the ball more. That ended a 4-0 Texas run. Asia O'Neal finds its way across the net. Somehow, Wenis pushes it over. Youth. Maggie's. Both teams refusing to let the ball hit the ground. Great effort on both sides. And the Aggies getting the point, mainly because they're refusing to let the ball drop. The Aggies with nine and a half blocks tonight. Texas with eight tense moments here in Austin. Wenis tools the block. I like the response from Jenna Wenis. When she gets blocked, she is not giving up. She is trusting her swing. She's going through the hands. And she didn't even try to avoid the block. She saw that Walker's hands come off a little bit and trusted how strong she is. Texas has adjusted in this set, hitting 355. The Aggies 042. Pasapala, that one deflected high and out of play. watching Texas in this gym when I was really little and thinking wow look how high the ball goes and it does go so high because these teams hit so hard when it hits your hand or the platform it touches the banners an electric environment tonight here at Gregory Gym Casapala serving for the Aggies on the bird mark Texas up 23-12 this is honestly where both teams should start experimenting. Because Texas a and most likely will not come back right now. So just start going for different shots. Play like you were in the first set with no pressure. And Texas went on that 10-0 run to start this set. Muth nearly took the head off of Alter. Muth playing like she has no pressure. Again, seeing the huge deficit and really not caring. On her body, she's showing confidence. She's hitting hard. She's going for different shots. Going near Emma Halter, but still avoiding the base perfectly. Team high, eight kills for Muth for Texas. O'Neal leads the way with nine. He's Latepe. Molly Phillips off the block. Underwood and Moneke both there. That one is out. Set point on the way for the Longhorns. The fans on their feet as Barnes serving for the set. The block is there, Moneke. Let Dickey alter. Madison Skinner. Texas has evened this one up at one set apiece. All about the ones and momentum, especially in the postseason. Here we go. Set number three on the way. Tied at one. Barnes serving. Moneke off the block. Barnes. Skinner, point Texas. Aggie's not able to figure out how to take away that cross shot from Skinner. They're trusting Ava Underwood to make the correct read, and she is, but Skinner's not going for left back. She's going right in that corner to make the wings and the middle back cut off each other. Skinner with six kills. Charging in is Moneke. She got everything behind that one. Great play for the Aggies. Maneke with the really slow set from Guzla Tepe, which is forcing Maneke to speed up that approach, giving Texas a lot less time to get that block set up. High school All-American again. Her dad was a Longhorn. She's an Aggie. Jamie Morrison, a coach with the Longhorns. He's the Aggies head coach. A lot of storylines here tonight. Only one team will survive. Off a couple of Aggies. Longhorns up by one. Skinner building momentum for her team early in the third set. A big reason why she is the Big 12 player of the year. She's clutch. Top 10 in the country in kills per set. Here's Emma Halter. Texas went on that huge run with her serving. 
at the beginning of the second set. As an ace tonight. Moneke. Busy early on in this set. Skinner. Out of play. Not a close tip from Skinner. Easy decision for the Aggies to let that ball go out. It shows you Aggies are making adjustments against her swing, forcing her to try and find different shots than that cross one. Texas with 14 attack errors. AM with 15. Manning serving for AM. Skinner and it finds the floor. You don't see that roll shot from Maddie Skinner often. If you force her to tip, she's going to tip. But the roll is something she does not pull out very often. But look at this middle of the court. She sees that hole. She sees how far off the left front, the left back is. Great eye. Eight kills on a match high, 26 swings. Akana misses. And for Texas, Akana is that server where you want her to be. Like in the halter, the player to hold on to the ball as long as possible from behind the service line. Make that rotation count. Swindle setting up Asia O'Neal. Forget about it. Ten kills for the senior. This is like a dance between Emma Halter, excuse me, Ella Swindle and Asia O'Neal. Look at Asia literally chase this ball down, knowing exactly where Swindle is going to back sat that ball. That's a lot of hours put in to make that chemistry happen. They call her the slide queen. 16 swings, no errors, hitting 625 with six blocks. That one misses. Casapala serving for the Aggies. Texas hitting 210 tonight. AM 088. O'Neill. I mean, she's unstoppable right now. And O'Neill didn't snap in that sweep. She literally stopped her hand, forcing that ball kind of like a float serve making that ball stop in the air and drop in the middle of the court. Missed some time earlier in the year, and again, Jared Elliott said even when she was back, that injury lingered for a long time. Finally, over the last handful of matches, looks the healthiest she's been all year. Youth punches it over. O'Neal with the dig. Skinner. McHugh with the point. Lepieu is a player that's really improved for the Aggies as well. Jamie Morrison said beginning of the season, that connection was really hard to find with the middles and the setters. And lately, it's fully turned around for his team. They're looking really in sync. A 6'6 redshirt freshman out of Omaha with the kill for the Aggies serving Uzla Tepe. Well, this set kind of a combination of the first and second now. Swindle with the dump, her second of the night. A two-handed dump from Ella Swindle. She's not even trying to trick the Aggies. She is trusting how powerful she is in her own right as an attacker. You don't see setters dumping with two hands to try and trick you. They're literally going for that kill. Doesn't look nervous for a true freshman playing in this environment for the first time in her life. The Led Aggies come right back. Led Nikki, a name we haven't said in a while, coming out with this huge block. And again, that reach she has. And look at her arms. Both of them are literally faced to the left. Her body even swinging, making sure that block stays in the court. We'll review 400, Texas 200. <laughs> Bella Bergmar puts it away. <laughs> O'Neal on the slide and Birdmark on the rip. These two middles are such good athletes at different things at the front row, and that's what keeps the Aggies block on their toes. Birdmark efficient as usual in her opportunities, hitting 400. Here's Swindle. 
Charging in Muth off the block over the head of Halter. Caroline Muth doesn't care about hiding what she's going to do. She is so aggressive in her approach right to your screen. You know that ball is going to be an all out hit. Whether that she goes for the hands or not, you better get ready to run that ball down. Nine kills for the senior transfer. Then swindle over to Bergmark. Youth is there defensively. Oneke. Skinner. Phillips. Too strong. No, Texas gets the point. It was touched. One point set. The Aggies arguing that call. Will we have a challenge? The drama builds? No. Jamie Morrison thought about it. So point Texas, Longhorns within one, Carissa Barnes serving. The former three-time Southland Conference libero of the year. One ace tonight, but the service error. Texas with five service errors, the Aggies with none. Three service errors in this third set. And the Aggies only have nine points. Texas on a platter has given Texas A&M a third of their points. And you can't do that this early in a set either. That just gives momentum. Jared Elliott not thrilled. Bergmark almost put it away. Muth with a great dig. Swindle. Skinner. Nice dig. Moneke had to hold up. Madison Skinner off Muth. Skinner going away from that cut shot and that cross shot and going more for the middle of the court and going with the hands of the Aggies. Not denying Logan Lednicki of her height. She's using it in her favor, trying to get that touch at the fingertips from Lednicki. This is not your ordinary first round matchup. It is an absolute battle here in Austin. Lednicki, Alter. Great hustle. One arm banded by Swindle. Led Nikki a dart that knocked the freshman down. Great hustle and effort from Texas. Ella Swindle putting it all on the line. But when it comes to Logan, Led Nikki, if your platform isn't perfect and stopped, it's going to come right off you and even get you off your feet at times. She is that strong. Three kills for Led Nikki. Margot Manning serving for the Aggies, back up by two. The tape. Asia O'Neill, Underwood one handed, Moneke pushed over by LaPio. The point for Texas. Aggies giving Texas a point. You've got to make sure, you've got to eliminate all those little errors. Control your side of the net. Kayla Okana against seven aces in the first round a year ago. Seven aces. In the regional final the year before that against Texas. Moneke off of Halter. Back to a two point Aggies lead. Perfect sweep by Moneke. She's playing like a senior because of how confident she is hitting. And in that snap, not even avoiding Emma Halter, going straight for the libero. This set back and forth between these rivals. Diving was Akana, Swindle, Halter. They set up LePio, Skinner and O'Neal were parked right there and waiting for it. When you're against a 6-6 hitter like LePio, all you have is your timing. If it's not timed perfectly, she is going to hit over your block. Asia O'Neill and Maddie Skinner together in sync. You would think that's one blocker. That's how perfectly they are timed against the pure. <laughs> the fans here pump O'Neill 11 kills in seven blocks. Skinner serving. Muth smashed one off Akana. Muth changing up her shot. She's continuously going for that left back, middle back. And now she's going straight down the line. Again, not even trying to hide if she's hitting with power. She's just going for it right now. She's the first Aggie to 10 kills tonight. Casapala 
into the net it goes. Service error number one on the evening for the Aggies. The closest we've seen a set so far in this match. Aggies taking over the first one, then Texas with the second. Right now, it's going punch for punch. Asia O'Neill. Texas with three aces tonight. Trying to tie it up. Pushed over, O'Neill with the dig. Off the block, and we are tied at 12. Ella Swindle looked like she didn't expect that to work and said, hey, I'll take it. But the dig from O'Neill showing, hey, I can do defense too from the back. Laying it all out, making sure that ball goes to her setter. It's Swindle just trying to keep it in play, not even thinking that's going to get the kill. Here's O'Neill. Aggies back up by one. Asia O'Neill hitting 6 11, 11 kills, 7 blocks, talking things over. Who's Latepe with an ace tonight? 19 on the year. Bird mark in the middle. Back to Muth they go. Texas with the point. Jamie Morrison had his hand in the air, signaling touch. The officials did not agree. Texas forcing Muth to hit out. They're taking away the shot she's going for. They're doing a better job at reading her shoulder and where she's facing. Swindle for the lead. Let Nikki answers the call for the Aggies. There's absolutely no digging that hit from Len Nikki. It's a combination, how high she gets in the air, how fast her arm goes. In her IQ, she is reading that block is nowhere near the line. She's going straight forward, turning her shoulder. She is so fun to watch. She is ferocious on the attack. Bird mark into the net. They're for Led Nikki. This is personal. I mean, she, as you mentioned, comes from a family full of Aggies. This is not just a postseason match. Jared Elliott like, talked about these players are almost too young to grasp how real the rivalry is. This is already building it for next season when they're all in the SEC. Aggies return the favor with the service error. So we saw AM control play in the first set. Jared Elliott's squad dominated the second. The third has been neck and neck. Marissa Barnes. The Nikki. Texas with the block. We're tied again. A lead block from Bella Burmark against Logan Lenicki. One of the highest verticals in the Aggies history. And it's all about in the reaction in read from Bergmark and also the four. Look at her arms pointing back into the middle. If you're not right up on the net, there's no coverage. Moneke. What a set. And Moneke with the hybrid, not going for the hit, not going for a tip, but kind of slowing the arms swing down, making that ball float in the air and drop in the middle of the court. Phillips kept it going. Free ball for the Aggies. Led Nikki. Window halter falling down. Moneke, that one back to halter. Skinner. Led Nikki, and we are tied again. Nice effort from Morgan Led Nikki. Yes, it was an error, but she saw how late Maddie Skinner was in that block and tried to go for the line, but Skinner was committed. She was going to force Len Nicky to go down that line and trust Emma Halter if that ball went in to get the dig. By the way, these teams have combined for 21 and a half blocks on the night. Halter serving for Texas. Charging in Moneke. Madison Skinner and Texas has the lead. Hiding 
where she's going at this point. She's trusting her strength. Everything she's put in the weight room, how hard. The atmosphere in here is unreal. Casapala. Haven't called her name too much in this set, but she ties it up. Casapala is so efficient. She does a good job at reading where O'Neill is in front of her and even getting the touch on the hands from O'Neill while still avoiding Carissa Barnes and Swiddle cutting off on the wings. Oh my goodness. And that can. No, they change it. Point Texas. It looked like Maneke might have been in the net, and you could tell in her face that she did not like that. So I'm assuming when I see a player react like that, I'm going to call you in the net. And sometimes refs will even look at the reaction. Yep. Sometimes players will show it on their sleeve if they took the air. Texas back up by one. Akana. Swindle stepped in front of Halter, Madison Skinner with the emphatic point. The Longhorns now up by two. Ava Underwood cannot get the dig from Maddie Skinner in the left back right now. It's about time the block for the Aggies try and take over. Move that base over more to the middle. Force Skinner to go down the line and make sure your right back is stopped in base. 6-2 Texas run. Sapala denied by O'Neal. <laughs> Tremaine is up out of his seat. That's a guy who doesn't normally show much emotion. He's pumped, so is his daughter. Akana. And that game, the Texas block there again. Lepio. Madison Skinner with the point. Longhorns by four. And Aggies adjusting their block a little bit to Skinner. She's going through the hands right now. That's showing you that they're trying to take away that cross shot more for her. But she's answering well to it. 8-2 Texas run. The Longhorns with 11 blocks on the night. On a 4-0 run. Sapala. The dunk by Swindle. Ella Swindle with her fourth kill of the night. She has more kills than some of her hitters have. It's all about that peripheral vision. She is not only seeing where are my hitters, but where are the hitters across the net from me? She's reading a lot, and that's what the quarterback for a volleyball team does. Moneke comes flying in and tools the block. Flying is the perfect word for that approach from Moneke. And that set's so low. She has great connection with her setter, doing a good job at avoiding the block and making sure she has that full snap and range. Kana. Skinner charging in, and that is in 23-18. Elite cut shot by Maddie Skinner. Ava Underwood doing her best to read the shoulder of Skinner. But Skinner has that reach and athleticism. She can move the ball anywhere around. You put a dot down, she can literally hit that dot. Madison Skinner. You pushes it off the block. And it kind of tumbles over. Aggies with the point within four. Youth done a really nice job at answering the Texas block. She's just trying to get the point for her team, not keep the ball in play, but get the point. Doesn't matter if it's a hard swing or a tip. 11 kills on the night from Youth. Into the net it goes. Set point on the way for Texas.
The Longhorns looking to go up two sets to one here in Austin. O'Neal. Muth. The Aggies stay alive. Keep beating Caroline Muth. She is not scared of the Texas block in front of her whatsoever or their defense. All she's worried about is on her side of the net and it's showing. Who's Latepe serving? Muth having a night. 12 kills. 75th career match with double digit kills. Set point again for Texas. And the Longhorns take this one 25 20. Texas one set away from advancing. Texas. The Aggies have already handed Texas their first set in an op their first loss in an opening round match since 2002 when they lost the first set. Halter sliding in. The AM block is there. And the AM block was there in the first set. They had six and a half blocks in that set. Four since then, before that point. Again, the first set, first one Texas lost in 21 years. Since then, the Longhorns in control, taking the second set 25 13. That's one 25 20. Skinner. Youth going to the floor. Confusion on the Aggies' side. That confusion is something that has not happened too much for either the Aggies or the Longhorns. Whenever it happens, they clean things up really fast. Alter with an ace tonight. Moneke. Madison Skinner drilled one off youth. Asia O'Neill pushes it over. Diving in was Moneke. Lepio. Moneke into the Texas block, bouncing around. O'Neill goes to the floor to save it. Swindle keeps it alive. Rolling off the tape. Texas point. No, AM gets the point. Longhorns were celebrating. See the looks on their faces. They thought they had the point. Asia O'Neill staying in the play. This is what makes her so good. She's down to get on the ground and go for the dig. She stays in the play. She reads the play. And right now, both teams are doing a good job of keeping that ball up. Jared Elliott wanting an explanation. I thought that ball was clearly out off Maddie Skinner. I'm not sure if she's saying she didn't touch it. And now you see her go talking to Jarrett Elliott. I think she told him it's not worth the challenge. And I like that. I like when the head coach will listen to the leader on the court. So we play on 2-1 Aggies. Alter over to Skinner, who has been busy tonight. Texas's best players have shown up in their biggest match of the season. Caroline Hughes initially looking frustrated with that point, and then immediately, a second later, you see her shake that point off, go for the next. Akana serving. Here comes O'Neill sliding over. Youth right with the block. Madison Skinner puts it away. When Skinner and O'Neill are together, when you overpass against one of them, it's going to be a kill every single time. And Maddie Skinner is not going to be nice about it. She's going straight for the Aggies defense. She has nearly 40 swings, 14 kills on 39 total attacks. Youth. Skinner looking for more. Casa Paul with the rare error of not playing.
interesting, and Maddie Skinner immediately saw that. Even if your block is an inch or two off, an elite hitter is going to see that and go straight for your hands. Skinner, 16, five and three. O'Neal, 11, eight and four. In the middle, Casa Paula tooling the block. And that was a battle between the best two blocking middles in the nation. Statistically, Casa Paula and O'Neill, the sophomore, got the best of that one. O'Neill sliding over, Underwood. He's with the point. Tied at four. I missed the call on that one for Texas. Might have been a rotation error. And m needs to win this set to keep their season alive. O'Neal. Keeping that point alive. And Skinner ending it. Ellis Wendell puts the ball in the perfect window window I should say for Skinner and Skinner loves that tight set because of how high she can reach she can move the ball around and she beats the block out 17 kills on 41 attacks for the big 12 player of the year youth off the block Skinner took a swipe at it, but the Aggies have tied it up at five. Perfect aggressive swing by Muth. A couple times, she has tried to go for the Texas fingertips, but whales the ball out. A team that's really good at that is Miami. They're going to try and whale the ball out, but barely make you touch it and make it impossible for the back row to run it down. Muth, one of just two seniors on this young Aggies team, 10 underclassmen. Charging in from the back row. Who else? Skinner has a superpower, and it's flying. <laughs> the approach, how deep she starts, and then where she ends up. Look at, she's in the middle of the Longhorn logo. Look where she lands. It's like she's a front row hitter. That's because she can actually fly. That's how big the approach needs to be for her to have the full momentum. She is dominating over the last two sets. Youth right into the block. Swindle not looking like a true freshman. Swindle is 6'3". Not only is she a setter, when you're running a 5-1, she is a blocker. Once she gets the format down, she could be as elite as Birdmark or O'Neal herself on the right side. O'Neal serving. Hammered. Birdmark. Point, Texas. Longhorns win this set, and they're moving on to round number two to play SMU tomorrow night in this gym. Jamie Morrison trying to keep his season alive. Let Nikki. And he's back within two. Let Nikki with her fifth kill of the match. Usually she has a lot more, but that just shows you how the Aggies have really spread out their offense. Last year, they relied on this freshman almost every single match. You can't do that. The secret's going to get out fast. They're looking a lot more sharp this season. Texas has hit better than 350 in each of the last three sets, and that continues with the point from Bergmark. Bergmark is so good at finding the hands in front of her, and she has that height to where when she's coming down in her approach, she can still go for your hands. After that first set wake-up call, it's been all Texas. Let Nikki smashes one off halter into the upper deck. Let Nikki reaches 10 foot. She reaches higher than a lot of professional male athlete volleyball players. She is absolutely elite. Morgan Perkins, the sophomore. Swindle setting up Molly Phillips. That caught Muth up high. Moneke. 
Raleigh Phillips. That block for Texas A&M, 10th in the nation. Pulls them within one. Good hustle by Wenis, but the Aggies are doing a really good job at taking back that momentum from Texas. And that's exactly what you have to do. When the Longhorns go on a run, you need that ball back for your rotation. Perkins serving. Service error. Two-point set. For Texas, Madison Skinner, 18 kills, five blocks. For Asia O'Neill, 11 kills, no attack errors on 21 swings for O'Neill. And eight blocks. In the middle, Bergmark was there. Barnes in front of Halter, Swindle, Bella Bergmark. She is showing up big time in this set. And coming in for the one, that sweat set from Swindle was really high. That's a really high one. Usually it's barely above the net, but that's what Bergmark needs because she reaches that high in the air. Texas by three. I thought that was a good try to cost Apollo. She was going for the fingertips, even though it didn't look like a good try. She was very purposeful, trying to make Texas block, touch that ball, and the defense not able to run it down. Keep trying that. Fans here can feel it. Texas getting closer and closer. Maggie's trying to fight back, and they do right there, courtesy of Bianca Moneke. Bullet kill from Moneke. Personally, I thought that ball was going out, but you don't have much time to react when you're Emma Halter because Moneke hits that fast. You've got a split second to decide, is this ball in or out? And her dad, Gabe, a tremendous player for Texas men's basketball years ago. Men's hoops coming up after the conclusion of this one. Skinner swooping in, but out of play. Two-point set. The Aggies fighting back. And in with a couple of aces tonight. But six service errors now. Texas really struggled in the last set with service errors. Now the Aggies are struggling in this set with service errors. It's a fine line. You want to be aggressive, but make sure you don't give your opponent a point, especially in the postseason. Texas has gone on a number of runs with Halter serving. O'Neill, Swindle, back to Asia! Whenever Texas gets the free ball, it's a 90% chance they're going to run their middle. It's obvious. But that just shows you how quickly of a tempo the offense has. Even when it's obvious, they can still beat you out because of their speed. The senior is leading the way. Moneke. Halter couldn't save it. Moneke has the hang time. She was really early in that approach. Met the ball coming down, but she still is able to stay in the air and get that ball to push it deep. The Aggies fighting for their lives here in the fourth set. First tournament appearance in four years for AM. Skinner tools the block. And a timeout called by the Aggies. The Longhorns won. No, his old team is up. His daughter. Girl dad. One of the talented young stars for the Aggies. As AM pulls within three. When your daughter's playing in the big match, you don't care about your alumni. No, that's over with. <laughs> that's long gone. <laughs> Underwood serving for the Aggies. Joust. Youth. O'Neill. It's all about patience in the Texas block. 
You have to time this perfectly or else that ball is not going to be blocked straight down. That's what makes Asia O'Neal so good with Swindle. Swindle is learning so much being paired up at the front with O'Neal, and that's on purpose from Jared Elliott. Swindle's going to take that moving forward. Asia O'Neal's in his own. This is her best match since the national championship match. Skinner pushes it over. Pancake by Underwood. Nice up. Swindle with the dump. Another pancake. Unreal. Youth right into the net. Amazing job by Ava Underwood. Aggies libero at reading Alice Swindle. Of so this moment at this point in the season from youth and the Aggies. Trying to keep their season alive. More than 4,000 once again on hand here at Gregory Gym. There's Jared Elliott. Close to advancing to round number two to take on SMU tomorrow night. Asia O'Neal with the stare down. You can't get anywhere near O'Neal right now. She is blocking absolutely everything. Credit to Muth trying to stay in the play any way possible. But Asia <laughs> O'Neal is everywhere. Go with the tips or rolls. Anything to get past her. 12 kills, 10 blocks, no attack errors. Great match for the All-American. And again! <laughs> so the big fella's happy, to say the least. How many times are we going to say Asia O'Neal? Their feet. Halter. Here comes O'Neal. And another one. Now Texas is in that red zone where you're at that 20 mark, and that's where teams can start to shut down and feel defeated. And again, it's Asia O'Neal. She is constantly being fed. Ella Swindle could care less if it's a secret or not. She is feeding her middle. O'Neal and the Longhorns have the Aggies on the ropes. Youth. No. Touched. Aggies with the point. Texas looking to go 36 and 0 in the opening round of the NCAA tournament. Five points away. You wouldn't know it by Jared Elliott's reaction there. Not thrilled with the call. His team has responded though after dropping that first set. Like you said, Alex, coach the bear. Service error. Texas four away. She's just happy looking frustrated at that service error. But she's a player that more than anyone has to shake it off. She's the quarterback of the team. She's our Aggie setter. Here's Asia. Red Nikki off the block. Akana. Jenna Wenis. Nope. And Lednicki's a great matchup for Jenna Wenix. Lednicki has a really high block. Wenix has a high reach, and Wenix not able to get around her right now. And Texas still hitting 320 in this set. Madison Skinner went to the floor for that one. 22-14 Longhorns. Air from Maneke, but that was a good error. A great swing, the approach looked nice, going for that deep corner, not able to make the ball drop in though. But a strong error. Swindle serving. Maneke. Swindle saves it, Halter. Wenis tries again. Let Nikki off of Swindle. Aggie's not dead yet. Let Nikki is that power hitter where when you're facing her and you're the back row, if you're not stopped and your arms aren't stopped, that ball's going to be shanked. You have to be lined up perfectly to get a dig against her. Elena Pearson, the freshman, serving for AM.
Bella Bergmark taps it off the block. The Longhorns are two points away from moving to 36 0 in the opening round of the tourney. And Bergmark, great lane, so free right now. Great example for our teammates of what it looks like to be able to handle the pressure of the postseason. Marissa Barnes serving. And Nikki coming up with another point. The sophomore. Led Nikki is one of my favorite players in the whole nation to watch because she is so aggressive and she's so talented. She's physical. When coaches say physical now, that means one, you have natural talent, you have the height, but you also have the athleticism, the work, you've got everything going on. Margot Manning serving for the Aggies. Free ball for AM. Charging in, Moneke. Alter dug it out. Skinner. Moneke with the point. Aggies within six. I like that Moneke has still not reverted to tips or rolls. She is trusting herself. She is continuously staying aggressive and going for those hard hits. The winner moves on to play SMU tomorrow night. Madison Skinner. And the Aggies within five at 23-18. Longhorns will call a timeout. Coach of the year. Looking to move on to round two. The Aggies going on a run here late in the fourth, trying to extend their season. Winner plays SMU. Molly Phillips. Maneke. 23-19. The fact that Maneke has three times in a row beat out Phillips and Bergmark on the block shows you how athletic she is. She's not the tallest hitter, but she's strong and she's smart. And what a fitting possible end here. It's been a battle all night long. You take away the 10-0 run at the beginning of the second, and this match has been extremely close. And there is the AM lock. They have pulled within three. Trying to force a fifth. A huge service error match point on the way for Texas. Emma Halter serving for the match. Halter, Swindle, O'Neal. The Aggies keep it going somehow. No, O'Neal Skinner! Texas moves on to round two. Hold on. Not just yet. We have a challenge. Of course. You knew this match <laughs> was going to bring the drama. The call is confirmed. Texas moves on. And who else to get the kill but the Big 12 player of the year, outside hitter Maddie Skinner, who completely wants to kill.